Hey there, Philip here and this snippet is about the fact that this game that I'm working on is made in Flutter. Flutter, if you don't know it, is this uh, technology for building apps or most people see it as a technology for building apps for Android and iOS, right? And then they see this and they're surprised, why is this or how is this Flutter? Uh, I was reminded to, to that by my last video where people would be like, oh, it's absolutely bonkers to me that this is made with Flutter. And I've also seen people who like, uh, I would show them this in real life and they would also be, wait, this is not some kind of uh, a, a real game engine. This is Flutter, really? So I want to address that. I know that not all of you know what Flutter is. Uh, and I actually don't want that to be true. This is not a channel for Flutter developers. I hope that's clear. I, I mean, there's many channels on YouTube that are much better at teaching you how to use Flutter. And that's, that's great. I don't want to replicate that. I think I want this channel to be about the things that I do, be it with Flutter or otherwise. Obviously, because I spent so much time with Flutter in the past and probably will in the future, there's a lot of you out there, Flutter developers, who follow this channel, and that's fine. I, I, I hope that you feel welcome. I just don't want to make it... I, I don't want to make this channel generally about Flutter. I will sometimes talk about Flutter, but not always, okay? And if you don't know what Flutter is, you're very much welcome. You're welcome here on the channel, okay? So Flutter is... Um, Actually, it's it's just a portable user interface toolkit. It's a, a thing that runs on many different devices and can uh, uh, put pixels on the screen and reply to user events like clicks and touches and so on. So uh, why would anyone be surprised that I make a game with this? Because generally speaking, 99% I think of the Flutter projects that are out there are mobile apps. And so Flutter, Flutter applications and just like Flutter projects generally have like, you know, the mobile app interface. They have this like nice big blue button or whatever, you know, and, and a lot of uh, normal typography, lots, lots of pictures and rounded corners and all that, right? And then suddenly you show something like this, which is not that, right? This is, this is very, very different. It looks different. Uh, but the thing is, and I want to like drive this home for especially for the Flutter developers out there in the audience. Flutter is literally just a portable UI toolkit. All it does, or all it should do, the core of its value is that it lets you create 2D user interfaces and as you can see, a little bit of 3D user interface as well, but user interfaces on screens wherever you are and, again, give people a way to react. So you shouldn't be... I, I hope that you're not surprised that, for example, this, right, you know, like this, for example, is Flutter, right? This is just 2D thing. Yes, it looks different than a mobile app, but it shouldn't be surprising to anyone that this 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 actually works right what I think a lot of people are kind of uh, thrown back with uh, my English is the all these um, 3d things that you see to the left and to the right right and uh, let me let me show another one like this one uh, that's 3d right and how is uh, how is flutter which is only doing, 2D, and it's it's uh, it was naturally meant for 2D apps. How is this drawing 3D? And the fact is, again, if you look at 3D graphics, what it is, it is drawing re not rectangles. It's drawing triangles um, very fast, uh, you know, with different colors and all that. But that's it. You are only drawing triangles uh, on the screen. So if you know the magic formula, 
which is is very easy to to learn but it's complicated but it's easy to learn and easy to du duplicate if you know the magic formula to get from a 3d object or 3d triangles to 2d triangles you're there because again flutter is designed to to help you build uh, 2d graphics so if you tell it every frame 60 times or 120 times per second if you tell it please here's 10,000 triangles these are the different colors that these triangles are please show it on the screen in this particular place that's what flutter is gonna do and this is what what is happening right now it's running 60 fps probably uh, and it's running on it can be run on you know full screen 5k resolution which you can't see because YouTube, but this is literally 5K resolution and it is running in debug mode, 60 frames per second, right? So it's just because if it wasn't able to do it this quickly, then it would be a pretty bad app development kit. It would be a pretty bad toolkit for making user interfaces because a lot of the other things that you do normally in apps is going to require about as much, uh, you know, operations. You, you have to decode JPEGs and then put them on the screen, right? And you have to do it on a mobile device, not a relatively beefy laptop. So yeah, that's it. That's that's my uh, that's my spiel here. I I am able to to do all these things. Obviously, it seems to me that it's not like uh, this like huge thing because it is just a two D thing, right? It, now now you might be thinking, well, that's all good, but what I actually want to know is how exactly you're doing this, for example, right? How exactly you go from a three D object which uh, I have, this is probably going to be a little small for most, but uh, I think that it's this one, which is the uh, .object file, which is like literally just a huge amount of text data. It could be in any other form, but it basically is, you know, the, the, these are the vertices, uh, these are the triangles, and so on and so forth, and then I inject or ingest the data in the game and then I uh, make it go like this, right? Um, so that's cool and all, but uh, how exactly do you do it? All right, so I'll give you a, I'll give you a browser window and uh, if you go to pub.dev, now, now this is completely for Flutter developers, right? But but uh, you go to, I think it's called Flutter Cube. I'm not actually using this, but it was a big inspiration for me because this is someone, who is it? Final.dev, I wanna know more about who this person is because they're amazing. They, they made a bunch of other things, but Flutter Cube is definitely one of them and uh, their site is slow, but that's fine. Uh, and you can literally just say, okay, I want an object from an object file, and they even support things like textures and all, all the other things, right? Uh, which is great. I don't need a lot of the things that they are, they have, uh, so, but I do use, obviously, code that looks very much like, do, 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 I think it's seen, like uh, this. So render object takes a mesh, which is somehow, you know, um, uh, is basically the object, uh, but in, in a, a, a nicer way, like ingested. Uh, and then you have the, the, matrix four, which is the transformation. This is what tells uh, this, where you're looking from. Basically, you have all the 3D vertices, the points in 3D space, and there's just a four by four, like 16 numbers that you can use 
to take those points and put them on a 2D plane as if you're looking at something. That's the base of all of 3D graphics, right? So you have this, that's the projection. And then, see that's the transform is a matrix uh, that takes the projection, the view and the model. It doesn't really matter, but, but in the end, uh, let's see how the, the core of all of these things is that, can we, can we see the transform, please? Where is it used? No? All right. Anyway, in the end, you just apply matrix and that's it. So, so you, you are make you're doing, uh, algebra and that, you know, that, but we already have all the machinery, all the things in DAR that, that help you do it. You have this, open source project that you can literally copy paste uh, or just use as is and you can have three objects in your game and as i say i'm i'm doing this for three different things on a screen and it runs 60 frames or 120 frames or whatever frames per second that i uh, put on it to be clear it is the most expensive thing these 3d objects are the most expensive things that are on this are shown, you know, like if I profile this uh, game, it this will be the most expensive things that are going on at this point, but it's also pretty unoptimized. Now you might be thinking, okay, but well, this is great. The Flutter Cube is fine. Okay, this is the person. Zebiao who? A coder, just a coder. <laughs> We can Flutter, Dart, Go, and Delphi from Shenzhen. All right, thank you. Uh, because I'm definitely, I was very inspired when I saw this. But it's probably good to to realize that, uh, yeah, I, I didn't want these things. I didn't want, I'm going for some particular uh, style of 3D graphics. And this is not it. Right, so I basically had to rebuild uh, almost from scratch all of this because I wanted to have this kind of graphics, which are uh, you know very different. They they support different things, and on the other hand, they don't support a lot of the things that you would normally have to support for, for example, uh, textures. Right, so it's a, it's where my style led me to, and. I think that's important that I could like really literally recreate a whole graphics, I mean, 3D graphics engine from scratch and uh, do things like this. Uh, if you if you look on the right side, uh, how it kind of renders from the top, this is something that you would be, hard, I think, hard pressed to do in any other 3D engine. But but for me, it was very easy because I do all the triangles myself. I draw all the triangles myself. All right, so so that, that's also, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sharing this code, uh, at least for now, I'm not sharing the code to open source. The game is closed source at this point. And I think that's okay because I don't think people should be copying this particular project. I know it's, maybe tempting if you, you know, trying to build something very similar to what I have. But I think it's much better if you look at the code at Fluttercube and try to build something of your own. Uh, this is, this looks obvious in retrospect. If you look at the, the graphics, you're probably like, yeah, this was the first thing you tried, right? No, uh, there was a lot of back and forth where I thought, okay, maybe it should be like green. Maybe it should should be textured. Maybe I should draw lines and not, you know, maybe how exactly do I do the flicker? See the flicker there? You know, all of these things are little micro decisions that you have to make and they all matter and they will be different for different projects. So that's why I'm not... Uh, saying that you should uh, you should do any of that deploy turret. All right, so that's about it. Uh, so n the next question that was very kind of uh, closely related to the one of 
wait, are you really making you know a game in Flutter? Is or I mean the the <laughs> The original question I tried to answer was like, uh, how is this possible that it's Flutter? I hope that you realize now that it's not really that weird. Uh, you know, it's it's just uh, an app basically that is mostly made in uh, 2D, you know. But a related question is, wouldn't you be much more successful or faster if you used something like Unity or Godot, Godot or whatever you call it, or Unreal or something that is clearly a game engine. And my answer to that is maybe, but in my particular scenario where it really is the whole game is, is about, uh, you know, menus and uh, Things like oh, I want to like jettison my cannon or whatever it was that you know. For that, I think it's it's really it's really much better to use something like Flutter because Flutter is really great at making user interfaces. And because all I need is these 3D objects that are very clean and very just kind of stand alone and very 70s graphic style then uh, that is a great, for me, it's it's a very good uh, technology to use. If I was making a fully 3D game, or if I didn't really do much of the UI stuff, and mostly it would be just, you know, WSAD or, you know, like, like quick shooting, uh, just, you know, a few inputs, and menus are only for the menu screens and that's it, then I would probably also get much more from something like Godot or Unreal or Unity. But that's not the case here. I am literally just doing um, doing a lot of UI work for this uh, with a sprinkling of 3D. And that's, I think, a good uh, good thing for something like Flutter. All right, so I hope that I answered some of your questions. That's it for me now. Thank you.